so here we are with another Mercedes that is broken. This is a Mercedes CLK 200. I bought it to make profit off it. I wanted to tear it apart and sell it for parts. Or if the interested buyer would buy it as it is and then go do it out for themselves. Because I bought it cheap and I went with the recovery truck and I picked it up. So it's been two days now since I've had this car. I bought the car for 400 euros and it had a starter motor problem. So I came back, I fitted a new starter motor. I didn't record that part, that was uh, yesterday. I bought it from the junkyard friends, the Polish guys behind me. And I paid 50 quid for the starter motor. Plus transport, that's using my truck to go and collect it. Another 50 quid. So I paid 400 for the car, 50 quid for transportation and 50 quid for the starter motor. Now the car starts. So anybody else that's coming to look at this car, they are picking on the very small things that it has. Well, in Ireland, cars like this are just, whoever wants to keep it, it's sentimental for them. But uh, people usually drive brand new things, which I don't usually do. But the Mercedes is something that I love and this engine for me is easy to work on. So I'm thinking, Maybe I should just take it on as a project. I'm just gonna show you what's the major issues with the car. If I have something immediate, I'll fix it up straight away. But if I don't, I'll have to wait for another day. So the car is starting, that's the main basic thing, which is very good. But there's a few minor things that are happening right now. So we have to look into that. So I decided I'll keep it for this channel. If you guys are interested in more Mercedes content, then I'll just try to fix the major issues that's wrong with this car and then maybe somebody else might buy it if it's in a better condition than what it is now because there's these tiny small things that have trouble with it so i'm going to show you around the car and show you what's really troubling the car at the moment without wasting time let's dive right into it so straight out of the gate we don't have a hood strut this side there's nothing here it's gone the battery that's in here is very small i'll show you that in a bit and this hood strut is broken this one is not even working at all. The famous intake tube that tends to break is missing here. We've got a good belt. There's a leakage on this coolant line here, it's broken. This is a common problem as well. It always causes trouble. There is no fuse box cover here. It's missing and I've put this temporarily just to keep the water away in case it might damage something else. The famous camshaft magnets are leaking here. We can see it's all oil all over the place. I think the rocker cover is leaking as well. It needs to be changed. Compressor and everything else is dry. We have a very small battery inside here. It's not suitable for this car. It's too small. But I thought the tail light is missing. I'll be damned it's inside here. It fell inside there, so I should be able to poke it out and take it out. 04D. So 04 is the year it was made. And D means Dublin. The interior is cropped out. Look at these windows. They're not fully closing. The shifter, I guess they were trying to do the quick release here when there was no battery in the car. And the vents are completely damaged. And the seats are not very bad. Nice leather interior. Oh, it has a sunroof. <laughs> and then we've got this too many wires everywhere there's some sort of wiring guy who was in this car and doing some dodgy wiring and they ended up destroying the car money I like money that's not closing so that's carbon fiber <laughs> All of this stuff is carbon fiber. Anyways, and these are, these are broken. So, so far, another thing as well is the handbrake and the brake light switch. We've got a lot of lights on the dash. I wanna show you that in a bit. The radio is working. Uh, the heater is working. I can feel it blowing, but uh, yeah, that's blowing. Right, there's a lot of lights on the dash. The brake light visit workshop, ABS triangle, 
and coolant level check level I think that's the sensor that's not working SRS means the airbag restraint system ABS anti-braking system and we're low on gas so so far that's the major issue and you can't see down here but this lever you use to pull the bonnet isn't working I really have to use my hands it's not recognizing that the handbrake's been released and that's what so far is going on this is a common problem on Mercedes the windows rolling the back windows rolling as well are you watching <laughs> sweet if you open That's working. I have got 1,500 subscribers. Are you guys enjoying this content? I want you to be involved and tell me where I'm not doing right or your opinion on how I should do something or the next project that you would like to see on these Mercedes projects or things like this Honda Civic or whatever content you're interested in watching that brought you here to subscribe is what I want to know so that we can continue growing this channel. So please like, share and subscribe to the channel anyway. So with that said guys, I don't think I want to sell this car for cheap or for parts or scrap. I think I want to challenge myself and put it back on the road and see then after could I sell it for more cash and make a profit or make a loss. It all depends. So I want you to be fully involved and fully engaged in these projects so that we can grow together. We're gonna leave that there. We know what we need now. The coolant line, the hood struts, the intake tube, and a few little other things, cam magnets, the backlight, the lights that are on the dash sorting out. In the next video, we'll be sorting that out. And also, don't forget the Civic, we have it coming. And there's this Porsche engine that's over there. This one needs rebuilding and I'm gonna be building it up. As I said, I want you guys to be very engaged with this channel. You know, tell me the direction of the content, and what we should be doing next. See you later. Peace and I'm out. Look at this guy, he's very late. Come, <laughs> coming into the video, it's very late. Very, very late. But anyways, yeah, take it easy, lads.